For sure. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. Thank you. So what defines a studio space for you? What defines a studio space? Uh, I, I think it's more of a kind of a conceptual space, more than a physical space. Uh, and I, I think it's basically where somebody can uh, explore their ideas. And, uh, you know, I, like again, I, I, I think of it more as a thought space, I think more than anything else. Um, you know, I mean, right now in my practice, I, I find myself needing a studio space uh, just logistically for what I'm doing. You know, three years ago, I was working out of my apartment mostly. In fact, when I was in grad school, I think I was maybe the only person in my department that did not use their studio. I basically used it for meetings. Yeah, so the studio is somewhere now that I can kind of make a mess. And I also, I also like the idea that it's separate from where I live because I'm an obsessive person about my artwork and it's hard for me to turn it off <laughs> as it is. So I actually like that distance because you know, if, I, if, I have a, if I'm working on a show like I am right now, it's kind of all <laughs> I think about. <laughs> but yeah, I like to have that, you know, I go home, I relax, I listen to music, I chill out, yeah. And I come here and this is kind of the place where my work gets activated, I guess you could say. These days, when I'm not teaching, uh, I'm, I'm here all the time. So honestly, right now I'm probably averaging about 40 hours here a week. Yeah, I think I'm spending more time than I ever have on my work, not because I wanted to, but because of what the process kind of demands. And, and a lot of times when, I, when I'm thinking about new work uh, or going into a new direction, I, you know, I think of the finished product first. And then so much about what I've done over the last 10 years has kind of been like reverse engineering. I think of the object and then I I have to figure out how to actually make it happen. And, you know, in this case, I, I thought it would be a lot easier than it ended up being. You know, simply, you know, I teach X tech and I thought, oh, Cyanotype, it'll be fun and easy. And then I realized when I wanted the kind of level of quality uh, that I was looking for, there were a lot of other, you know, technical challenges that uh, I didn't anticipate. Just preparation of the panel or the ground is very time consuming and uh, it's not uncommon that the first one or two will fail and then that's like, you know, six hours of work right there. That's kind of so. <laughs> what I realized about three years ago, I started to really worry, <laughs> not worry, but I was, I found myself more concerned with things like framing choice, framing color, paper surface. And that wasn't the conceptual driver, but it was, I think, uh, this thing that was happening with me where I started to become less interested in the kind of canned, pre-packaged system that we, that we know photography to be digital photography or inkjet photography, or however you want to say it, but that I, I was looking for a new form, or a form that was uh, more of a personal kind of space or, you know, yeah, and, and, uh, and something that had an objecthood to it, not just being a window, but also a physical entity on the wall that someone had to, uh, you know, navigate around. In fact, in a lot of the cyanotype pieces, the sides are actually really interesting. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of people uh, enjoy that about the, the work. You know, I, I think for a long time I, I didn't quite know what context my work belonged in. I, a lot of people through the years of, you know, why don't you show at a photo gallery? And I've, I've had opportunities to do that and I've, you know, turned them down a lot. And I, I think it was because I, I always saw my work not exactly fitting into the photographic conversation 100% uh, that I, I was much more interested uh, with, you know, conversations that my friends were having who weren't photographers. In fact, uh, you know, I'll take you upstairs and show you the sculpture, but, you know, when I got out of graduate school, I became friends with uh, these recent grads, grads from Northwestern, and they were all painters. The work changed because of the people that came into my life and, uh, you know, other concerns. I 
started to, you know, uh, feel were important in, in my development. I, I mean, one thing I've always tried to do uh, is push myself into new directions. And when I, when I feel comfortable in a space uh, with, with photography I, or my work in general, I usually move on. That's... <laughs> Yeah, or I think it's, and that's not to say, uh, you know, I, I didn't get anything valuable out of, out of exploring photography in, in, in the ways that I have, but um, I, I like the idea of constantly trying to improve on whatever my concerns have been. You know, if someone told me five years ago I would be doing these, I, I would have thought that was weird and unlikely, but, uh, you know, here I am.